Hello, I am Nitesh Pradhan from LabVIEW Programming. It is 11th number video of the series of LabVIEW Signal Processing. In this video, I will show you the different kind of windows which we will use further in the signal processing. Okay, so let's start. So for that, first of all, come into the block diagram. Open your LabVIEW and come into the block diagram. Right click and drag the function palette here the signal processing in the signal processing this one is the window show pen in the window the first window okay the first window is rectangular window the first window is rectangular window so for the rectangle window The number of sample will be 128. We can take and you can adjust the rectangle size. You can adjust the rectangle size. Now, come into the front panel, right click, take away from chart, sorry, away from graph. And plot now okay so for the rectangle window each and every time the value will be 1 okay you can set it 2 3 4 but do okay run right click come here and plot so it is our rectangle window right now let's talk about something the rectangle window the rectangle window has a value 1 over the time interval Okay, each and every time interval with the time interval, the value will be 1. Mathematically, you can set this rectangle window concepts. We applying the uh, rectangle window is equivalent to not using any window. Okay, if you are used this rectangle window, so that will not affect your any kind of signal processing concept okay because it is null and, null and white kind of the concepts the rectangle window has the highest amount of spectral leakage okay that is a why just because the rectangle window just trunk out the signal to within the finite time of interval that's why the rectangle window has a high amount of spectral leakage, right? In this window, the window size is 10, sorry, 128. You can set this value 100 also. Now, let's talk about the Henning, Henning window. Now, the second window is Henning window. So, for the Henning window, I will change something. Control B for the Henning window. Come into the window platform. Take this Henning. How can you get this window? Right click. Come here. This signal processing windows. Henning window. It will be increased 0 to n minus 1 so we can directly connect this one can, sorry we can directly connect this one but for that we need this logic now it will display hanging window it will display the value okay it will show the hanging window 
the Hanning window is, uh, is a shape is similar to half cycle of the cosine waveform. The Hanning window, the Hanning window, the Hanning window shape is just similar to the half cycle of cosine waveform, right? Now let's rename the Hanning window. And run. Now you can uh, okay. In the in our condition, n is equal to in our condition, this n is equal to n equal to hundred. So there is hundred value is showing in this Hanning window. Hanning window is useful for analyzing transient. Okay. Yes, Henning window is useful for analyzing transient longer than the time duration of window. And also general purpose, you can use it in the general purpose concepts. Now, the second concept is Hamming window. So there is Hamming window, take Hamming window, connect the Hamming window here, copy this one. So you will get Hamming window here. Connect here. Hamming window is just a modified version of Hanning window. Hamming window is just a modified version of Hanning window. So what the advantage of this Hamming or Hanning and what is the difference we'll see later. Okay. Hanning window, ha Hamming window is the modified version of Hanning window. Its shape is also similar to cosine wave. Okay. But there is slightly difference in the mathematical models. Okay, what is the uh, difference? If you will talk about the Henning window, if you will talk about the Henning window, so it is a mathematical concept about the Henning window, and if you will talk about the Hamming window, show here, you can see the mathematical difference of the about the Henning Hamming window. It is a 0 0.5 minus 0. 5 cos okay 2 pi but here 0 0.54 minus 0 0.46 run so it is a hemming and hanging window if you want to mm, see the proper change okay relation and change so you can use this build functions Okay, a build array functions. It is a build array functions. Now, no need to use this appendant. Use the waveform graph. Hanning and Hamming window. Hanning and Hamming windows. Okay. run now you can see this one the red one is hamming window and the blue one is hamming wind sorry it is hamming and it is hanning right so now let's delete these concepts these two windows now the third one more window that is Kessler Bessel window. So this one is the Kessler Bessel. Sorry, let's talk about some Hamming. Hamming and Hamming windows are somewhat similar. However, you can note the you can note in the time domain the Hamming window does not do 
the close to the uh, okay hemming window is not gen uh, that not generated data uh, that close to the zero zero means it's about the zero okay that's the only difference now after this castle vessel vessels so castle vessel will give you modify the output it will give you the modify if you it will give you the option to modify your windowing it will give you the concept okay this window is flexible you can say it is a flexible window okay you can modify the chain uh, modify the shape okay and adjust it adjust it so how can you modify and change you can modify and change and adjust using this beta okay so let's see what kind of output will come out okay so here let's rename now this is zero run it just look like right now the beta value is 0.0, .0 so it look like a ramp okay it look like a ramp but the value will be 0 0.1 so now you will find there is some thing has been changed that will visible when it will be a 0 0.5 okay if you want to see more so the beta value will be 1 now you can see here in this condition let's try to put 2000 okay if the beta value will be 5 so it will perform like a hemming window after that we have one more beautiful window that's triangular window where yeah, there this one is our triangle window you can take this triangle window and you can delete this one control b delete again there is one functions and uh, maybe that functions is present here ramp functions I will show you this RAM functions, use of this RAM function later. Okay. First, it is triangular. Okay. It will be doing, it will not give you perfect triangular. Okay. It will not give you the perfect triangular shape. It will create that window. Why? Because the, it's a formula. It will look like a triangular and the number is n is equal to 100 so now what are the concepts so what what type window what type of window do i use okay so there is a one just a second what type, type of window do i use If your transient is duration is shorter than the length of window, so you can use the rectangle. If your transient duration is longer than the length of window, you can use the exponential or henning. Henning. General purpose application, you can use the henning. Order tracking, you can use the rectangle. Okay. After that, if you want to analysis a system for the frequency responses okay you are using uh, working on the control system or signal system and you want to check the system stability and you want to plot the frequency responses so you can use the hemming window suppression of two turn with the frequencies were close each other but widely different in the amplitude so you can use the Kessler window 
in many cases you may not have sufficient prior knowledge for the signal so you need to experiment with a different kind of windows to find the best one okay so it is a concepts so now in the next video we'll discuss i will design the program where you will learn how can we use this different kind of windows so thank you for watching